This is a cupola that we've placed here in the parking lot of a carriage house in the west end of Portland, Maine. The roof was completely rotten. And today, we're going to rebuild it. Thanks for tuning in. This is the Deliberate Meaner YouTube channel. I'm Jeff, and we are currently standing in what will be the kitchen of a gorgeous house in the west end of Portland, Maine. It's an old carriage house, and on top of the carriage house, we had a cupola. We took the cupola off the building using a crane and set it on the parking lot, mostly because the roof was completely rotten. So today, we're going to recreate that roof. We've made a few improvements to the original design, which was hand-built on the roof. We have the luxury of doing it on the ground, so let's get going. So I set up the original rafters after I took them apart. I just set them up loosely so that I could kind of get an idea of what the profiles look like um, of each of the rafters. There are eight rafters in total for this roof, and it comes up at a curve. Um, the top portion of the roof is four-sided, and then as you come to the bottom, it turns into an eight-sided roof. So there are two separate, you have four corner rafters and four northeast southwest rafters, and they're markedly different. And the reason that is, here's the new roof, just tied together with a rope at the moment. The reason that is, so you have north and east right here, and then the corner one here. So what happens with this roof is it's four-sided. So you have one side here, one side here, and then as it comes down, it comes down as this one side here, but over in the corners, there's a separate little roof right here. So at the bottom, it's an eight-sided roof, and then from about here up, it's a four-sided roof. Uh, so it's, it's a very complicated affair. And don't worry, I screwed up a couple of those cuts. A lot of trial and error to get it to where it was in 1913. But uh, I think we've got it there now. At each corner, there is a beveled piece of wood that makes up this triangle roof and also you toenail these <laughs> roof. It's just a, it's something else. It'll come together though. It really is at the end of the day, a massive art project. So the first thing we need to do is cut 22 and a half degree angles and these little wing pieces that provide the support for the little triangle roof that goes right here and on all of the corners. So this is what it'll end up looking like. Still have to cut those two. Cut this one, and we're doing that over on the miter saw. Set to a 22 and a half. We're zapping it there, and then I'm holding it very careful, flipping it over. Probably not advisable, uh, but just uh, get a good grip on it and get that 22 and a half right there too. We'll get those all done, and. We should be ready to start tacking this bad boy together. And to make it easier, I went to uh, Hobo Freight, grabbed a couple casters, and set this whole platform on casters so I can just install one side, turn it. We'll make it go real well here. And there she be. So we'll do all those and we should be good to go to fasten something together here. Okay, we got all those done. And now we need to completely take this thing apart. I have a post here with a hole bored all the way down through it for the weather vane that goes on top. And we need to take that mock-up piece out of there, set that one up there loosely, you know what, I'm gonna mark the directions because everything fits so well right now. I don't want to change any of the uh, directions. So I'm gonna get a piece of chalk. So this is Northwest. This is North. And so 
so on. So I've marked them up that way because it's fitting so perfectly right now. We can put them exactly as they were when I take this thing apart. And I even marked my little rolly mock-up stand. So we'll start taking these out. Let's continue taking this thing apart. I almost feel like I should mark the little pieces too. In fact, I will, because they fit perfectly where they are. It doesn't seem like I nailed it too bad. Oh, no, I, I went a little nuts. That's all right. Come on, baby. Come on. There it goes. Oh, there's a little special treat for someone. We'll get that out of there. And then I'll build a little platform for that guy over there to sit on. So we've got that ready. I need to cut an inch and a half off of that because the height is exactly correct. So I don't want to screw that up. Jeez, this will be a uh, fun video for someone to watch right here in their kitchen. And this place is all done. It's gonna be a uh, five-star kitchen. Let's cut this up and get going here. Okay, we've got our center, so the screws should just go right back in here, right? Oh, look at that. Put a little plate on that, and we should be in good shape. That should do it. Let's send a screw through that, and then we'll get going. Okay. The only bummer about doing it this way is it's not exactly where it needs to be, but we'll be able to play with it as I put it back together. I think the best bet for me is going to be to not attach them to the post, but rather have them loosely sitting there and then start building the roof. And then once I get a, the roof all the way around the bottom, let's say three layers or of decking. So go up three separate decking pieces that'll firm up the bottom dimensions because that's going to be the most important because it needs to fit in a hole on the cupola this big and those are the exact dimensions um, just to give you an idea of the challenge this was this corner here is 10 and an eighth and the opposing corner is 9 and 7 sixteenths so hand built on the fly, cut it to fit it is how uh, they were rolling. So we're just improving on that a, a, a hair, but not so much so that it won't be recognizable. Getting her back together here. So yeah, it's a little bit more challenging to put this back together when the post is not fixed, but we'll get it there. Southeast, Northwest. All right, some semblance of how it goes. All right, I'm gonna tie that together. There we go. I'm gonna put the, the wings in, we'll see how that goes. Hello, wings. I'll call you wings anyway. So let's go here, okay? So this is gonna help me line up where this is supposed to be. So this is proud right now and it should not be. So this needs to come out to there and to there. That one should be in the correct position, but yet looks low up here, which tells me this is not square. There we go. Again, this, that's the challenge of this guy being loose when you're trying to put it together. My weapon of choice for the wings is going to be a finish nailer. I don't want to split them right off the bat. And I'm going to shoot two inch stainless steel nails right in to the side here. There's one set. We'll go right around. The mini rafters are in now for the 
eight-sided portion of the roof. Have not attached up here yet. I'm a little uh, leery about doing that until at least I have these together where they need to be at the bottom. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to at least do the first row first. And once I have the first row and these things where they need to be down at the bottom, I can futz around with move, wiggling this thing so that everything is where it needs to be at the top. Coming together though. Well, I just got done cutting a bunch of deck pieces for the cupola. Let's go fit them up and see how we're looking to start. So my plan is to do the full faces first. These full, from the top down, roof portions are all flat, or well, <laughs> It's really hard to describe this roof. There's no flatness. There's no angle that's the same. It's uh, one board at a time, custom fit to get it to work on here. So I have uh, the first six rows. This is fur, one by four fur, tongue and groove. So the first six rows to get up to the point where this little corner roof triangles. So I'm gonna put all of those on just loosely. I'm not nailing anything together. The only thing that I'm nailing together until all the pieces are cut and everything's fitted correctly are these wings. So these are attached to the corner rafters, but that is it. Everything else is gonna go up loose. So let's get to putting these pieces up and see where we're going. Let's try to fit this up here. So on the first row, I cut just a 45 degree angle so it'll sit down on the fascia correctly. Uh, because believe it or not, the roof continues further down. Um, there's another six inch lip here that's at a 10 degree angle uh, before you return to the cupola. So we'll just throw these pieces on here loosely. This is just fitting everything together. Now, this is a, this roof slopes up. It's, there are no flat angles. So it starts here at 21 degrees and ends up by the time it gets to the top at 18 degrees. And that's all the way around. Or so I hope. There's the fifth row. And there's row number six. So if I turn that to its side, you can see how it slopes up. So now we'll just uh, rinse and repeat. Way around. This in here, and then it'll just continue up from this point. These are going to butt right here so this is the end of this roof goes up to about here and then everything else is going to be but two in the middle so i'll spin this around so you guys can see so that's the first six rows of the decking it's just me and the protractor for the next two hours or so so i'll spare you all that and bring you back when i have those pieces cut Well, I spared you all the pain of watching me figure out all of these angles, but we have all the corners done and the roof is almost there. Everything's still loose. But in the morning, I'll nail it and glue it all together and we will have a completed rough roof. Now, beyond this point, it's going to have copper. It's going to be sheathed in copper. There's going to be a weather vane on the top. And uh, so you'll never see this art project again. Well, I'm about to go full send with the nails, glues, and screws. And I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. I need to make sure everything is really well lined up. 
So the plan is to nail it on the main rafter, right in the middle. That'll keep it in place. And then in the corners, I'm gonna glue each miter, once these are all firmly in place, set them in and then tack them in from the corners here. Everything needs to line up. This, so like right here is unacceptable. That's an eighth of an inch that can't be there. And pardon the banging there, roofing above my head here. I need to make sure that is perfectly lined up right in here before I go. But this part always makes me nervous. And plus I'm gonna ruin my art project. It has no nails in it. it, looks pretty awesome right now. So here I go, I'm gonna get everything lined up and send it, because this thing needs to go back on the cupola stat. Man, they're going to town on the roof up ahead. Or up above. Here we go. Part. I mean, it can't go up there loosely, so we gotta nail it. I'm gonna send one and see how that works for us. Now I'm wondering, should I do that all the way around? Let's do the bottom row. All right, I've gone full send up to row six. And the reason I haven't gone any further is because first I want to make sure, A, the quarter parts are going to fire up nicely and glue them and butts of that. Also, I need to take off all of these here because in order to get it on the roof, Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? In order to get this thing on the roof, I need to put something through this hole that goes down 15 inches. Jesus Christ, how long are the fucking nails? A bunch of young guys on the roof today. We usually get the uh, 55 plus crowd up there, but today it's uh, a bunch of 20 year olds that are hammer happy. <laughs> but my God. Thankfully, the roof, roof got reinforced. All right. So yeah, so I need to work up a contraption here to be able to pick this thing up dead center. So here's what I've come up with. The post in the middle is 15 inches. This is a 24 inch, 3 8 rod. I'm gonna uh, take this rod, couple this hook to it and at the bottom some locking washers uh, locking nuts rather and washers and at the bottom so i need to take the skin off at least one side so i can get the temporary support out of there and put that through and fasten it together i have my little pull in here we're gonna attach a rope to that and hoist it back up to the roof of the cupola. So I'll put this thing back together again and uh, we'll continue our trek north here. She is all done. So now the next step is to plunk it on the roof of the cupola. So as soon as uh, night turns into day, we'll get right on that. Well, good morning. It's 32 degrees in town Portland. Sunny, but there's a brisk wind out of the northeast blowing right in your face at 15 miles an hour. But hell, what a day to raise a roof. Let's do this. Well, we're doing it. 
roll it over to the cupola. Right over there. Well, there she is. We're gonna set it up there using the lull. Just hook a strap to the little loop here and give her a tug, set her up there, mock it up so that the coppersmiths can get to work measuring, cutting, soldering, doing all that fun stuff to cover that up. All right, we're fastening it up now. And I've got to get up there. There it is. So after much finagling, a lot of shimming, and uh, a lot of careful lull operation, we got that beautiful roof on that old cupola. So that's going to do it for this episode of The Deliberate Manor. Thank you for joining us. And next time, I'll take you on a tour of the entire project here in the carriage house. We'll take a look at all the different parts and pieces that are going to put this place together to make it a gorgeous home here in the West End of Port and Maine. So until then, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.